Welcome back to my shaman. It's level 21 player named Commissar. I've read the feedback on the last video. I think we're going to give some melee combat a try. Apparently the root is not reliable and it costs too much of my mana pool. So we're going to avoid using that. I have 34% mana. I'm about to fight. I think I'm going to fight Gorge Hounds in this area. 36% mana. I've got all my buffs placed on so they're all refreshed. Let's go ahead and give a try. I see a Gorge Hound out here. It's not too strong so we're going to start out with Disempower. And then when he gets close I'm going to cast Walking Sleep on him which does about 27% reduction in his combat attack. Okay. He yawned so it landed. Let's give him Tainted Breath as well. Apparently I'm not attacking. Oops. I didn't want to get I didn't want to give him affliction. Affliction's a waste. Make sure I'm using slam ability. For the extra stun to slow his attacks on him. So the walking sleep does work pretty well. I messed up and gave him Affliction. I should have used a Tainted Breath instead. That's okay. I'll do it better on the next fight. I was just getting everything set up. My combat abilities are nowhere near maxed either, so we're going to raise those up. Fight is going my way. I started the fight with less than 40% mana, so keep that in mind. 19% experience through this level already. I'm not sure how long walking sleep lasts, so I'm going to have to check the wiki. Okay. Apparently I'm low on mana, so let's go ahead and give him Tainted Breath. Disempower spell wore off. Okay. We should be fine, but um, for the next fight, we're going to allow our mana to get up higher. So AC is at 406. And our defense just raised up, and so did offense. We've got him running, so that went pretty well. I don't want to get that matriarch on me. So affliction just now wore off. Wow, this Texas heat is really getting on my nerves. I'm going to have to crank the AC up some more. Alright, let's sit up here and meditate. We're gaining 2% experience from that combat. Let's do it again. Okay, welcome back. Let's do another fight. 62% of my mana. I see his griffin here. Perfect target. We're going to start out with disempower once again. Alright, that landed. Let's give him a walking sleep. Alright, we got him tired and slow. Now let's give him tainted breath. Perfect, it landed. And then we're just going to melee him down. got enough mana to do a couple spirit strikes as well. Looks like Serpent Sight's starting to wear off. So after this fight, we're going to re-up every one of our buffs again. All right. Spirit Strike. Continue to melee. Alright, one more Spirit Strike. Got him down 20%, now he's running. 
I probably didn't need to do that last spirit strike, but that's fine. Down to 4% mana. I think I think that went pretty well. I hate flying monsters, trying to get those last couple hits. Flying monsters are annoying. So walking sleep lasts fairly long. I would say a minute and a half. Wasting time here. Here we go. So that gave us another 2% of our mana. It's rest up, and then I'm going to re. Let's change up our spells because I have to give myself buffs. So we got Strength, Spirit of Wolf. We need to give ourselves Serpent Sight. Let's go ahead and throw up a brand new Spirit of Wolf spell. We already have that up. Burst of Strength. I'm not using that at the moment, but I could. Let's give ourselves a Spirit of Bear. Heck, let's just give ourselves Dexterous Aura as well. All right, let's throw on some new buffs. Spirit of Wolf. Strengthen. Spirit Sight, because you know it's going to get dark soon. Spirit of Bear is going to eat up a lot of my mana. And Dexterous Aura. Alright, we're going to sit down, take off Dexterous Aura, take off Spirit of Bear, take off Spirit Sight. So once again, we're going to reply those spells that I want to use, which is going to be Disempower. Let's throw on Tainted Breath back. And Walking Sleep. That should do it. And let's just met up for the rest of the way and we'll fight again. Alright, I'm back. Let's go find something to kill. Turn this fan off. This Texas heat is killer. Even with the AC on, it's barely keeping up with this heat. Okay, let's see. There's lots of wolves. I don't like fighting these as much because the loot is terrible, but we're going for experience mostly. Let's do distant power first. All right, we got them frail. Walking sleep. It's harder to get these spells off because these guys run super quick. Let's run up here so we don't get any extra adds. And then after the stun, Tainted Breath them. All right, we got it all. And I'm just gonna do some melee. We got 28% of our mana, enough to do a couple spirit strikes if need be. So the walking sleep does slow him down a lot. At the lower levels, I think it was like really weak and it only lasted for seven ticks and it took a huge amount of my mana. So I guess it's better to use as you level up the spell and it does more effect and it takes less of a dent into your mana pool. Definitely seems very useful combined with disempower. There's another spell called burst of strength I could use, but at the moment I'm not using it. So I'm going to reply Tainted Breath. It looks like one of his pals are sneaking up on us. Let's just move a little. Okay. Yeah, everything's going pretty well. I might even Spirit Strike him to get the last hit down just so I can sit and rest sooner. I hate chasing him around trying to get those last couple hits off. It's been very annoying. As soon as he runs, I'm going to Spirit Strike him. There he goes. So we're now up to 25% experience. That worked out pretty well. Let's just sit down and do another fight. And it take me about 30, nah, about a minute and a half of metting up. All right, exactly one and a half minutes later, I think I'm ready to go. I don't have full life. But I see this griffin and I'm running away, so let's 
Go ahead and throw a disempower on it. He's frail, let's give him some walking sleep. He yawns. Now let's give him a tainted breath after I tried to stun him. It landed beautifully. So thanks for all the suggestions on how to fight with the shaman. I think this works out a little better. Ain't it? Most importantly, this fits my style of play a lot more than just sitting and running and rotting and rooting. This will help me get through that level 21 to 24 grind when we get our new set of spells. Regeneration. Cannibalize. A better poison spell. All right, Tainted Breath wore off. I'm just going to throw another one on him. I might actually Spirit Strike this guy because it's a close fight. A little Walking Sleep wore off. Let's just do Spirit Strike. Boom, okay. That might have been a bad idea. Disempower is still active, but Walking Sleep did run off. We only need to get him down a little more and hopefully he runs from us. There we go. We're in business. Chain of Breath just wore off. Okay. This Griffin did seem a tad bit tougher, but I can see how having a better weapon would make this level grinding go so much quicker. Stay right at his feet. Please die. <laughs> Come on. So, in case you guys are curious about my weapon, I've showed it off several times, but I'm using a crystallized Shadow Warhammer, 7 damage, 29 delay, plus 2 strength. Plus five hit points. It's just, it's probably a lobby type item. But that gave us another 2% experience. Let's sit down, probably give ourselves about two and a half minutes meditation on this one. All right, I'm ready for a new fight. I know I shouldn't fight these because they can do poison, but I wanna just uh, give it a try. This one is not one of the stronger ones. It's not one of the ones that considered dangerous, but Jesus, stop moving, please. Start out with disempower. Well, Jesus, if it would just stop moving, please. Probably out of range still. Oh, got him. Walking sleep. Throw on ten breath. Now I'm actually gonna throw on affliction as well. Right after I try to slam him. Okay, so we got ten breath and affliction on him. And he is whooping my butt. Apparently I'm not close enough to do damage to him, but he can hit me. Isn't that something? Okay. T 
Tina breath wore off. Let's do it again. Apparently I wasn't in range to attack. I was taking damage but not giving it. That was a pretty bad mistake. I've got poison on me. I've got affliction and taint of breath on him. So let's just go ahead and sit down. Give myself inner fire actually. So we are up to 30% experience at this level. All right, let's fight some of these scythe beetles. Let's get ourselves in a good location. There's another one over here. It's a good thing I turned around and look. That thing is right behind me. Okay, we'll fight this one. Disempower. Walking sleep. Looks like walking sleep's casting time takes longer, so maybe I'll cast that one first. He resisted 10 breath. Well, that sucks. There we go. It landed. I believe I did walking sleep on him. Yes. It said he yawned. So it does do a quite a bit of damage reduction. It's also easier to get some spells off when they're slower, so let's take advantage of that. Spirit Strike. Still get interrupted. Big damage. So Tainted Breath wore off. I'm going to recast that. And Walking Sleep wore off. That's okay. This guy is pretty strong. Mama June just run by. I guess that's Honey Boo Boo's mom. <laughs> nice cool weapon they have. Mama June. So dodge is up to 69. My skills are going up slow. Oh my gosh, I just sold some. I had two on me and I sold them. Oh well. Alright, this thing does not want to run yet. Why doesn't it want to run from me? Get managed up, nice. Cool. All right, time to met up. We're up to 32% experience. All right, let's do some more combat. Just got a message from a guy named Ulfgar. Says love the content. I told him I was making new videos, and it says I actually got him to come back. LOL, thanks for the inspiration, Will. Glad you're back on EQ. Have fun. Shout out to Ulfgar. Alright, let's grab something. This scythe beetle looks juicy. Better throw ourselves on a couple kills. Sorry, I keep leaving the fan on in between combat. Good hunting. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Let's start out with Disson. Actually, let's do Walking Sleep this time. Oh, out of range. So I think this one takes longer to cast. Let's just check it out. He resisted it. Shoot. Ah. There's a recast delay on that. Okay. After we slam. 
try to do walking sleep. Okay, we got it. After slam, let's taint breath. I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Let's actually throw in affliction as well. Okay, he's really slow, I can tell. I wish I could give myself a haste. Let's turn the volume down just a tad bit. Alright, fight's going well. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, really ouchy. So a Tainted Breath off. I'm going to recast it. I'm actually going to throw a Spirit Strike on there. Ooh, I don't have enough mana. Damn, this guy's tough. Okay, Walking Sleep we're off. Should I recast it or should I wait? Let's see how much Spirit Strike takes. So that takes 6, 75. How much does Walking Sleep take? 60. Oof, I'm taking a lot of damage. All I can do is Walking Sleep. Let's get it going fast. I wasted a lot of time not using it. Shoot. Tainted Breath wore off. Let's do re Tainted Breath again. That's probably the most important. Come on, get it going. Ow, man. And he doesn't want to run away. Oh shoot, let's run. Oh no, 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 run, 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 run. I'm slow. But he's slow too. He's got Tainted Breath on, so we'll be okay. Let's just give ourselves Inner Fire. Let's do it again. Affliction just wore off, okay. Okay, we got 24% life. Let's see what he's at. 4%. There we go, good. Let's go check the Druid vendors I need to sell, and I need a little break. We're up to 34% experience. That rocked me. Um, I definitely need some upgrades. Let me show you the upgrades I'm using right now, because this might be an issue. So we're using large leather shoulder pads, split paw hide tunic, banded cloak, black alloy girdle, 8 AC, 5 stamina, leather leggings, 5 AC, reinforced boots, 6 AC, uh, limestone ring times 2, alligator tooth times 2, serpentine bracers, Bamboo Splint Sleeves, 6AC. Split Paw Hide Gloves. Raw Hide Wristbands. And a Split Paw Hide Mask. And for the shield, we got a Kinos Kite Shield. So, lots of upgrading you need to do. Oh, did he die? I don't know. Okay, they casted Fain Death. I'm a Shaman. I should have checked. I assume they won't kill me. Ah! Oh, I'm amiably. Okay, shamans and druids. I didn't know they were, like, on the same page. So we need to look for upgrades if I want to keep mailing. I need I need upgrades. Oh, you're really going to banish me right here. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Don't get killed by the druids. Dude, there's a tree behind you. Nice. Should probably be uh, meditating. Perfect. Um. So what would be a good idea right now, I think, would be to run over to Freeport. I'm going to end the fighting here. 
I'm going to run to Freeport and see if we can find some upgrade armor, upgrade weapons, anything to help me melee. And that'll help me grind through these last couple levels to get to level 24. And that's, I think, when things will take off for me. So let's get to level 24. Let's get some upgrades. This is solo self found, but I allowed myself the privilege of buying gear off vendors. So that's an option. I've got money. Let's spend it. See you guys in Freeport and West Commons. East Commons as well. I'm not buying things off players. I'm buying things off vendors. Well, I made it over to Freeport. I couldn't find anything good to buy on vendors, so I was going to run into town and check the vendors there. I'm a little tired now. I need to edit one of my videos, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I'll continue looking for upgrades in Freeport. If I find any, I'll let you guys know on the next episode. But have a great week, great weekend, and see you guys soon. Take it easy. Bye.